My name is Hannah Hausman. I'm the executive director of the Santa Fe Children's Museum. The Santa Fe Children's Museum um, is a nonprofit organization. We have been in existence for almost 40 years. We were founded in 1985 by four women educators who wanted to see something different from home and school. And so they created an informal, you know, a place of learning and play. And so um, 40 years later, we are um, one of three children's museums in the state of New Mexico, and we're the oldest children's museum. So we have actually quite a small museum. We're about 10,000 square feet inside. Um, but what's unusual is that we have an acre plus of playscape that is adjacent to the museum. The property uh, was originally an armory and owned by the military, which actually they still are our landlord, which is a, a unique um, you know, partnership and collaboration. And so the building itself was a warehouse used for military use. So the outside was also part of that. And we redeveloped that space in the early 90s to be uh, exhibits and play spaces. And then most recently, which you all were a part of, we uh, went through a huge master plan renovation. And that was in partnership with the National Wildlife Federation and their arm called ECHO, which is Early Childhood Health Outdoors. We worked with SDB Construction. And we also had Surrounding Studio, a local landscape architect, come in and help us with the plan. So this new renovation uh, brought in um, about seven to eight new playscapes that, you know, are all around different types of learning. My name is Donna Ralph. I am one of the trustees on the board of directors of the Children's Museum. Music is integral to the development of a child's mind. It should be one of the first things that you introduce kids to, and most mothers and fathers do it instinctively by singing or clapping or anything like that. And so to me, it was natural to consider instruments as a part of it. The original uh, development had instruments on site as well. They had decayed over 35 years. And I wasn't about to leave the uh, museum without any. So after doing an uh, investigation and found percussion play, the colorful, creative shapes of the instruments um, just seemed natural to be a part of our outdoor scape. Percussion play was a Google search and there are a number of, not exhaustive, but a number of different firms that uh, offer similar styled instruments and it was looking at the reviews, looking at the customer service, looking at the quality, looking at the quality of the tone as well, which for me was quite an important. Um, and that's how I ended up leaning towards percussion play and bringing it then to the board to consider as our, our main supplier. And the instruments were a combination. We had a, of many different factors from form to musical style, to the style of how the sound was created and what the child would hear back. There is minor tones, major tones. There, the larger tubular bells create, of course, a resonance that the children feel inside. They don't know why. They haven't heard yet about sound waves and physics, but it's their first experience and it's already built into it. So when it comes in school, they'll, they will, kick in and say, yes, we have the, the chimes, the melodic cavatina, and then the pure percussive bongos. So it's all different styles, colors, shapes, in order to, again, encourage the kids to go out, to play, to have fun. And then as a surprise in one corner, we put in the stepping stones. So as the children just simply run through the area, they suddenly create music. You know, children's museums inherently um, want the, the family to play together. So that's really important to us. You know, um, the learning experience starts with that. So the, this area, which we call Soundscape, has been um, really brilliant in helping to do that because we're seeing 
children of all ages and parents and caregivers of all ages kind of walking them through um, and meandering almost through this area, which um, we built it that way or designed it that way um, for a reason so that they could come in through either either path. So we have like, you know, two ways they can come through. Doesn't matter which one because we, both are, are exciting and fun. Um, so we've seen that, which is really nice. So just, you know, organic, um, you know, play and interaction, which I love and, and love to observe. And then we have a little bit more structured. So, you know, we built this soundscape with a new amphitheater, um, which has been really special. And it's a covered amphitheater where performances can happen, like the Santa Fe Symphony has come in. We've had um, the Tasuki Pueblo um, tribal dancers come in. We've had so all sorts of, of music and performance has come through. And in tandem, the instruments have really, you know, aligned nicely with with what we've done. So you might see a performance happening of marimba, and the kids are actually playing on the percussion play instruments while that's happening. So there's some really nice, um, you know, play and experiences and memories happening at the same time. So that's what I've been observing since it opened in June, which is really sweet. And I might just add as well that one of the things about our soundscape area is it attracts the adults. Mm -hmm. Whereas they may or may not sit down in the sand play area and dig with their kids. They're in the soundscape and they're the ones playing the instruments yeah. and checking them all out. And that encourages their children to spend more time as well.